Uh, I need to go and take out a uh, sunburn launcher at uh, the objective one. Um, a sunburn launcher is an anti ship Saber missile. Two, this is Saber. Saber three is moving to a flanking position now. Over. So I'm now Saber, hearing Saber the two. Copy that. Proceeding to OP. Saber, Saber two three out. is the other fire team. They're moving to a a different position to try and help me out. Something you can hear as I'm sprinting. You can hear my heartbeat coming in. Saber and you'll also hear my Saber. breath Saber running out. Uh, this is because we didn't want Saber, anything arcadey or, or um, unrealistic like a stamina meter or anything. Uh, we don't want to give away uh, things like that to the player. Uh, you know, we, we think, uh, and, and as, as being demonstrated, this is played on the console, uh, which is another key thing. We didn't dumb down the game for console. Uh, there's this Rifle belief that, um, north. there's the belief that the console player is, is a, a different IQ level to PC gamers, which we totally Rifle disagree with. 200 meters. Reloading! Rifleman, 100 meters. So you'll notice this thing uses the thermal scope. We've actually um, given things like effect heat values as well. Reloading. So you'll see the buffer. The um, when someone gets hit, you'll see the blood Rifleman. actually hot in there. 300 you, meters. You hit rock, you get sparks from the heat values. Um, Fire all, all just kind of visual cues to kind of, you know to, to help you play this and you give you a better understanding when you've got a hit when you've missed. Tim, if, if this is a quite quiet area, just have a quick glance around. So you can see the draw distance, which we're really proud of. If you Rifleman, look over to your left a little bit, southeast. you should be able to see the distant, distant mountains, which are a good kind of 16 kilometers away. Um, nothing to stop you just going for a walk and visiting there what? if you want. Rifleman, 100 meters southeast. So currently, the enemy, as I gave away my position, is like they're trying Gunship, to flank us. Gunship, one click, Luckily, southeast. Luckily, I'm equipped with the. The target rifleman me, uh, is eliminated. Advantage. Obviously, there's only four of us against an entire PLA army. So, Reloading. and again, as, as mentioned, this game uh, is uh, designed uh, around playing um, cooperatively through the entire campaign as well. And we're expecting people to uh, concentrate. We're expecting people to uh, be playing this uh, over Xbox Live or System Link, and, and obviously on the PlayStation Network and um, uh, the PC uh, servers as well. One of the things I'll be demonstrating uh, in the one to one North. interviews is the PC. Uh, mission editor, which is an incredibly powerful tool. It's very easy to use, but it will allow um, the PC market uh, gamers to uh, create as many missions, Target, multiplayer Rifleman, and single player, as they want to. They'll even be able to create entire campaigns if they want to. And this also allows them to create uh, United, uh, not only United States Marine Corps campaign missions, but they'll be able to create um, uh, PLA missions as well. We are supporting this game uh, after release. It's not something uh, we, we already knew what we wanted to do uh, with uh, downloadable content. Uh, I won't give away what the DLC will be, uh, but I do want to confirm that we are planning uh, a lot of DLC um, for not only console, but PC gaming. Reloading! Rifleman, 200 meters. North. So I'm trying to push on over to the uh, objective at the moment. As you can see, there are enemies being revealed. Um, you can see some faded markers. This is to show the last known location. Again, we don't want to magically reveal where enemies are. Um, the, the icon slowly fades over time, and this gives you an indication of how fresh the intelligence is. So in a mission like this, you're, you're, you're inserted early on in the campaign behind north. enemy lines to take out a key installation to um, basically protect your, your main fleet that's moving in. Um, so you, you're very much on your own, whereas in the infantry missions, there's a lot of uh, probably air support, attack choppers, that stuff like that, which allows you to give positions of friendly forces. So we've got that whole blue force tracker thing going on, the real military use. People in radio contact, so 
when when the AI spot you as a forward as like a forward observer, they can radio their guys, and so pretty soon you might have a large force bearing down on you. Um, they've got choppers in the air on this mission, so I think they might be engaging the other team at the moment. Oh. They'll be giving the the other guys on the ground the positions of you, your guys. So you've got to keep on the move. You've got to keep using the terrain to take cover and uh, use gullies and stuff to advance. Unfortunately, you can see the sunburn missile launch that I was trying to get to. Um, as we don't have a huge amount of time, I was uh, playing the mission probably a little more quickly and a bit more, again, Rambo than, than the game is supposed to be. Again, this game is all about authenticity. And uh, unlike the Hollywood movies that you see, uh, missions do take some time you know a certain amount of planning is required uh, another thing you'll notice is i have a, a checkpoint but as it's hardcore it's all the way back at the start um, i won't play through the whole mission again uh, we'll hand over to uh, rich in just a second but um so uh, one of the, the the major things about the game is um as i mentioned hardcore has no checkpoints other than one after the very start uh, whereas the other game uh, uh, difficulty modes have various different um, uh, checkpoints to uh, allow you to continue the action, which is something that the original Flashpoint didn't do and uh, something we, we decided to put in uh, to make the game far more accessible than the original Flashpoint. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, a, a brief look at it. Um, I'm looking forward to showing you the game on the uh, one-to-ones, the mission editor, as I mentioned. Also, you're going to be able to play um, some of the missions on full uh, four-player co-op as well, which is the first time anyone's been able to get hands-on on that. So I hope you uh, have a nice time playing that as well. So thank you very much for your time and letting us show you the uh, Operation Flashpoint Dragon Rising. And I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. Thanks, Dave.